Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with our first hockey break of the day. Do have two boxes of 2021 Upper Deck Synergy Hockey to check out for Jason M from Oregon. So thank you so much Jason for letting me open these on up for you. I hope to find you some awesome cards to add to your collection. Now these boxes don't guarantee an auto per box. They do seem to be falling one every three boxes so we do have two chances to get one here which would be pretty nice. We've seen some great names in the auto slot so far. We've seen Quinn Hughes, we've seen Kyler Yamamoto, uh, we've had some rookie autos as well so that'd be a nice find here but synergy i'm just loving the way the cards look so hopefully we'll find some great stuff let's go ahead and get on into these boxes by snapping us into the corner and then actually up next we have two more boxes for mark so back to back two boxes of synergy hockey then actually on friday we have five boxes as well so if you guys are hoping to see more synergy make sure to stay tuned because we will have more now actually uh, hopefully, um, we don't know what our allocation numbers will be, but SPX Hockey went up. 2021 SPX Hockey went up for order. We did put in for five cases, so 100 boxes. Hopefully, uh, we get that many because I absolutely love SPX. Uh, SPX, before I started seeing more products that I've never opened before, was what I would say my favorite product was. I mean, that was before I ever experienced credentials or the cup when that comes out that'll be the first time i open up the cup so that might change but i absolutely loved sbx hockey from last year so i'm very excited to see what this year has in stock Ah oh, man sbx is one of those crazy products though there's just four four cards per box you know and it's not the cheapest so definitely a crazy product but i love opening up sbx we have brock besser synergy effects out of 749 and constant threats mark stone insert Man, the Synergy Effects card right now on screen. I don't know if it's because the colors in the play mats are like kind of matching the uh, Canucks uniform here, but like, man, that's that's popping. That, that Synergy Effects card is popping. I don't know. It just seems like the camera's like extra on point today. I don't know what it is. But it looks good. It looks good. All right, here we go. We have Mark Sheffley for the Winnipeg Jets. Bounty Code. Gabe Velarde, Synergy Effects Rookie out of 749, and Mitch Marner, Roaring Twenties insert. And actually, the most recent case of Synergy, we've been opening up uh, boxes during this past weekend's live stream, and just now, uh, it seems like the peeling on the bounty codes isn't as bad. Uh, there was one really bad Brock Besser, but otherwise the cards have been pretty okay, as compared to the first case where it seemed like every box had damaged cards. Seems like it might be on a case-per-case -case basis, but still definitely uh, make sure not to throw away your boxes. Because if you do have to send something off the upper deck to get replaced, you do need to have your UPC. We have a Bobby Orr here. We have a Black Exceptional Stars, Brayden Shen, 85 out of 99 for St. Louis. And Rookie Journey, Tyler Benson out of 799. Artifacts is coming in actually tomorrow. I don't know why Upper Deck is deciding, let's put out hockey products on the day that Ali doesn't work. Uh, it's coming out on a Thursday, just like Synergy came out on a Thursday, so I won't be here to open it until Friday. But we do have the Artifacts opening on Friday, also brand new Y Short Set, Fate, Grand Order, Demon Apocalypse, Babylonian, I don't know, some, some Y Set. And what else? Actually, I'm curious, what else is coming out? Sorry, Jason, detour. Uh, Contenders Football. You guys remember when like Contenders Draft was like two fifty and uh, regular Contenders is like seven fifty? It's dumb. I don't understand. John Klingberg, another bounty code. We have exceptional young stars Shvetchnikov out of four forty nine, and a uh, Kiefer Bellows card, which has a little bit of a lip there, but it's also a little bit pringly. Interesting. Jason, I'm going to keep your boxes. Uh, I I've, I've actually been pretty good about getting stuff packed up really quickly today. So it might just, they might just already be in your package. Uh, but if I haven't packed up your box, definitely let me know if you want the, uh, you want the boxes to send the upper deck. Uh, some of the stuff, I'm like, I don't know if upper deck would consider that damaged or not. I don't know. Sometimes the companies can be like, that's fine to us. And then it's like, bro, that's not fine. They're like, this is fine. We're not going to replace it. I don't know. I know Panini has done that with some cards. Like we opened out of a couple years ago. Boss Man had some basketball issues. And they're like, it, if it's not bent in half, it's fine. And we have more time to say Louis here. Hey, and I brought out the Kermit voice. Just for you, Jason. But sometimes Panini's a, a butt about that. I don't know about Upper Deck. We have Exceptional Stars Gold, Tavares at a 449. And Constant Threats, Jack Eichel. And that St. Louis card's pretty cool. I have two golds. 
which you can tell because I don't I think I've mentioned this before but the besides the numbering it's also the team logo is a different color if you're wondering where I'm getting these colors from I'm just big brain I just know <laughs> anyways here we go we have Morgan geeky rookie there's another bounty code we have max pack ready synergy effects pink out of 349 and perennial all-stars Patrick Kane but aside from that Kiefer Bellows card that was a little bit curvy, cards are looking pretty nice, which is good. So like I said, I think it's a case-by-case -case basis on how obliterated the cards are. All right, two packs remain here in box number one. We have Nico Hisher, Bounty Code, Bowen. Oh, we're missing it. All right, uh, we're missing a card here in box number one. Then we have Rookie Journey, Bowen and Byram out of 999. There are supposed to be three cards per pack. Charlie also, Charlie H was also missing a card in one of his boxes. And then I was joking because later in the stream, hey, we found Charlie's missing card because one box had a pack with four cards in it. Uh, we'll see. Maybe box number two will have that bonus card, Jason. But I'm just making a list for you to be like, hey, Upper Deck, uh, my, my card looked like a Pringle and I was missing one of them. We have Quinn Hughes here. And then Brad Marchand, Exceptional Stars out of 749. And Constant Threats, Connor McDavid. All right. Interesting. All right, here we go. So that was the first box, UPC ending in 709. Uh, also, Upper Deck, each box. Each box has its own unique UPC. So this one ends in 377, if it would focus. You guys could see that it ends in 377 so definitely make sure you keep the correct box to send off i don't know if it makes a difference but i know with panini boxes panini actually when you have like a missing hit uh you give them whatever thing from the box so they must have unique upcs then i guess uh but they know exactly what card was supposed to be in there so um, upper deck might have like some kind of list somewhere being like oh you're missing the uh, the roaring 20s mitch marner insert i don't know i don't know what they do I don't know how it works. Just what I've heard. Bossman did say, though, because we actually had out of Contenders, Baseball, no, chron Chronicles, maybe. A missing hit, and they knew what it was right away. We have Mike Richter, Bounty Code, Exceptional Young Stars, Wierenski out of 449, and Liam Foodie, Rookie Journey out of 899. Carey Price. We have Exceptional Stars, Gold, Kucherov out of 449. Roaring 20s, Gabe Velarde. Igor Korshkov, Rookie Bounty Code. And then we have Mira Heiskanen, StarQuest Die Cut Insert. That's cool. And we have about an 899 rookie uh, Stanley Cup journey, rather, Ovechkin. We don't have a Stanley Cup journey pile. It's all been rookie journeys. Now sleeve up, the Mira Heiskanen, Star Quest. I think we're seeing those about one every five boxes or so. We've seen two. We've opened a lot of synergies, so maybe even less than that. Autos are more common than the Star Quests. Why are the packs like this? All right, here we go. We have Sean Monahan for the Calgary Flames, Carter Hart out of 749 effects, and Ovechkin Perennial All Stars. Kale McCarr as a bounty. We have Igor Shesterkin Young Stars out of 449 gold, and Robertson Roaring Twenties. We have Oli Jolevi, rookie. Martin Cott, rookie, out of 749. And Constant Threats, Zabinajad. Two packs.
Max Remain here for Jason. Barkov. Alexiev out of 749. Sheffley, constant threats. And the last pack. Iskanen. Bounty Code. Exceptional Young Stars Barzal out of 99 Black. And Stanley Cup Journey Drew Dowdy out of 999. All righty. So that'll do it here for these two boxes for Jason. Let me get that Young Stars sleeved up. I had a loose sleeve over here. That works. And I need one more for the Haskanen Bounty Code. All right. Nothing crazy or missing out of box number two. But I will include... Uh, I am actually probably just going to go ahead and get this packed up real quick. I've been getting into the habit, good habit today of while videos are exporting, being able to pack it up real quick because they're not like two big boxes. So I can handle that pretty quickly. Uh, so I'll probably just have those boxes included with you, Jason, just in case you you want to get them in hand first. Maybe look at them before you decide to contact Upper Deck. But you were missing a card in box number one. So you might want to go ahead and uh, fill out their little contact us on their website saying, yo, where's my card at, bruh? All right, here we go. Let's do a recap. Starting off with the Star Quest die cut insert, Mira Heiskanen for Dallas. We also had a pink Synergy Effects out of 349 Max Pack already. And for our other Synergy Effects cards, we had a decent amount of rookies in here. We had Alexia and Velarde. Then we had Carter Hart, Martin Cott. Yeah, these are the rookie. Three rookies there. And then Carter Hart and Brock Besser. Did have two Stanley Cup journeys, both here in this pile. I was going to say both out of $9.99, but they're not. The Ovechkin's out of $8.99. They're all the different versions, too, of the different Stanley Cup journeys. Like, the Ovechkin is a different numbering because it's the postseason version. Here is the regular season picture for Drew Doughty out of $9.99. There's a lot going on here. Lots to collect if you were to make, like, a master set of Synergy. That'd be, like, a lot. And Rookie Journeys, we have, all right, we have the one draft picture, Bowen Byram, out of $9.99. Two away uniforms, Kiefer Bellows and Liam Foody out of $8.99. And the home jersey out of $7.99, Tyler Benson. Then we had one base exceptional stars, Brad Marchand out of $7.49. Then the gold parallels are out of $4.49. We had one, two, three young stars and two stars, Kucherov and Tavares. And for the young stars, Wierenski, Shesterkin, and Shvechnikov. And then two black parallels, exceptional stars, Shen and young stars, Barzal. And for our bounty cards, we had Heiskanen, Makar, Korshkov, Richter, Hischer, Geeky, Klingberg, and Shafley. All right, and that'll do it here for our recap. So many sleeved cards here in Synergy Hockey. But thank you so much, Jason, for letting me open up these two boxes for you. Hope you enjoyed the opening and love these new hockey card additions to your collection. Of course, all you guys out there watching as well, whether your name is Jason or not, if you enjoyed the video, which I hope you did, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. Comment to me and leave those down below. And of course, if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we'd love to have you with us. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss any new hockey openings. Got the artifacts coming on Friday. We have Black Diamond whenever that comes out, Clear Cut whenever that comes out, The Cup, Series 2, all the products, whenever they're actually released, we will have here openings on the channel. So make sure you stay tuned by going ahead and hitting that subscribe button. But of course, before I head on out of here, because I am done with this video, do we have to give a big shout out to all of our channel members for going above and beyond with their support of the channel here. Thank you so much, you guys. We do have five Black Label fans, and in Bounty Hunter Breaks, Epicenter Gaming, Pooh Bear, and Steven Olivo. We do have nine Gem Mint fans, too. Anthony Basileo, Devon, Dusty Archuleta, Geriatric Geek, HowStyle13, Jake Ryan OC, Joe Howe, Michael C., and Stephen Bly. Thank you so much, you guys. For like I said, you're above and beyond support of the channel. Bossman and I really do appreciate it. But that is it for me here. Up next, getting into two more boxes of Synergy Hockey for Mark P. So make sure you stay tuned for that if you're craving more hockey openings. And I'll be ending off today with a with two boxes, actually, of Star Wars Mandalorian for Kenzie S. So thank you so much for watching this one here, everyone. Take care, and I hope to catch you in the next video. Bye!